Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys my final recap and final thoughts on Haiku to the Top on episode 25 or Haiku season 4, you know? Anyways, dang. <laughs> it really sucks to see how it, how it ended for one team and the way how they left us up in a nasty cliffhanger. I better hope an announcement to be... I hope an announcement comes about very soon because... I can't wait any longer. A lot of people like me who's anime only, we can't wait any longer. So, if anything else, let's just get this started. You know, it plays a small recap of seeing like Hinata and Kageyama blocking the quick attack from the Mia twins, you know? And apparently, like, um, it's game over. Everybody watched it, especially like, um, Shira Torizara's coach, etc. Washijo, and so forth. And... This is really sad and upsetting, you know. I never expected myself to love Inarazaki very much, and I can see a lot of people may not liking the series because of the animation and the art quality being a little bit different compared to, like, um, the first three seasons of Haikyuu. And I can understand that. I really do. But I still think they still do a nice, did a nice job adapting it and the way how they made the intensity very nice and slick, you know. But it still sucks and it's sad, you know. Honestly, I really wanted to cry when it came to Inarazaki's loss and I expected Inarazaki to really cry. But apparently they didn't cry, which is really, really upsetting in a certain way because, you know, like when it comes to teams losing, losing, you know, we always see them in tears very badly in, for some teams. Like, for example, Alba Josai, Shira Torizawa, and many much more afterwards, you know. So, I don't know, <sighs> all I know is I really wanted to like tear up after seeing Inarazaki lose, l l have their loss, you know, especially one of their um, captains, you know, saying that I had a great team here, don't you think? <laughs> I'm thinking about my, oh my gosh, dude, please don't. <laughs> And you know, Nekoma seems to be very happy about this because that's when they're going to face them in the next round. And you know, their little cheerleader, which is like um, Tora's little sister, she's been hearing too many rumors that Karasu's on the roll and that they're going to lose, they're going to beat Nekoma. And we have to with that. Tora's little sister's like, I'm going to make you eat those words, you hear me? <laughs> it was so hilarious and really crazy, you know? And you know, we see Bokuto in this episode that he won his match. They end up having a small talk with each other. And then, no, actually Bokuto really wished that he could have like um, played with his team a little bit longer. And yet he's going to continue volleyball even after high school. I'm like, that's really nice, man. That's really slick. I, I, seeing how volleyball is also a career in Japan, that's really nice, you know, etc. But you know, a lot of sports tends to be a little tend to be very nice in Korea when it comes to like um, sports in Japan anyway but that aside um I thought it was pretty nice to see how see things go you know and we see to it that um we see some people on TV on Karasuno and Inarazaki etc and then we see Nekoma talking with each other and Shimizu and one of our one of our other managers of Karasuno's volleyball team having a little small talk and then and then the way how it ended by playing Haikyuu's first opening song, dude. First season opening song. That was really slick. It's from Spy Air too, you know? And we all know Spy Air very well. And that aside, we see a post credit scene where Nekoma and Karasuno are facing each other. And then we see, like, um... We see, like, Ukai and his grandson talking to each other about the battle of the garbage dump and looking forward to the match, you know? Dude, this is one of the, this is like, and it ended off there. And it says, thank you for watching. Dude, I swear, if we don't get another season announcement, I'm going to flip so hard. And I, <laughs> oh man, dude. <sighs> yeah. All I can really tell you that Inarazaki loses their match and then they end up having small talks with each other before getting ready to pack up and go, you know? Everybody else in Cross Note, they're pretty excited for the next match, and you know, Nekoma is, is excited and getting ready to face Karasuno, and they face each other after the freaking, like, um, after the freaking credits, dude. Oh my gosh, and Ukai and his grandson, oh man. This is gonna be one hell of a match that many people were looking forward to. For me, it reminds me so much when it came to Alba Josai Shiro Torizawa, you know? And now they're facing Nekoma in the, in the national tournament, Battle of the Garbage Dump. I hope this comes out really well. I wish the sets could be longer too, but I think 
when it comes to the real, real finals, that's when they're supposed to play a lot of sets, I'm pretty sure. Just like how Shio Torizawa and Krasno fought each other, you know? They played for five sets. This time, Nekuma and Krasno are only going to play for possibly only three. I don't know what, I don't know, but we'll have to see. Anyways, I hope another season gets announced very soon. I can't wait any longer, you know? And yeah, looking... Anyways, this entire season of Haikyuu to the Top, Part 1 or Part 2, or just overall of Haikyuu to the Top, I thought it was pretty nice from the very beginning, seeing Hinata, Kageyama, and Tobio, Kageyama, and Suki trying to make their development and get the growth going. And then, you know, when it came to the second half of, like, um, Haikyuu to the Top, that's when that's when real started with Inarazaki, you know? And I thought the match between Inarazaki and Kurasa was really fun, you know? I knew Inarazaki would not be defeated that easily and it shows that and we get to see that in action, you know? They easily took they easily took the second set, no problem. They did try to take the first set but they were unable to. But they took back in the second set and when it came to the final third set, man, that was pretty slick. Then we get of course you know and then of course you know Atsumu or the Mia twins, one of the Mia brothers, talked to Hinata in this episode, you know. I'm gonna set to you one day, but by then I'm gonna beat your butt in inner high, you know? Etc. So yeah, um, it's really sad to see Inarazaki lose, you know. I mean, like, um, even though I think one of the reasons is because they are pronounced as second favorite high to win the entire thing, but at the same time, when we get to see their backstories and every other team character for some of the characters in Inarazaki, I grew to be very fond of them because the theme of like we don't need memories or if we hold on to yesterday, what will we be tomorrow? You know, those are the craziest themes that Inarazaki were were given to. As for Karasuno, it's just hunger. It's like, once you see someone get hungry, everyone else gets hungry. And then we see Tanaka Ryu's childhood friend having to win her next match, and man, she's freaking hot. <laughs> okay, enough of me being a little like, um, uh, out of proportion, yeah. Anyways, I thought the animation and art was a little bit different, and I wish it could have stayed the same when it came to the first three seasons. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm one of those people that wish that the art and animation could have been a little bit of the same when it came to the first three seasons, you know? Although, I, I think they might have a reason why they changed it up a bit. I wish they could have, like, um, stick it to the original format of what they did with the first three seasons, though. I know, I'm repeating myself, but I wish they kept that art and animation the same for season four or Haiku to the top, but... If they had to change things up because of, like, manga difference or something, I can understand that. But, I hope to see another season announcement soon, like I said. When it came, when it came to Haikyuu to the top, I'd say i give this se a series maybe 8 to 9 out of 10. I know I may be a fanboy or overhyping it too much, you know, but hey, man, I, lo I love the series so much already, and... Seeing sports, you know, volleyball, I'm, I really want to try out volleyball, but you know, like, um, I even remember trying to, like, do a couple of practice jump, jump serves or jump floaters, and they're very hard, it takes a lot of practice to do that, <laughs> that aside, um, yeah, it's finally over, I look forward to another season, hopefully it'll get announced very soon, because I can't wait any longer, and from what I heard and understand, the Haiku manga is already finished, so, I don't think they'll have any other excuse to actually, like, um, not say, like, oh, we're not going to do another season. I'm pretty sure they don't have an excuse. If anything else, I think if they're a patch for next year, fine. I'll, I will wait at least one, I'll, I'll wait, like, up to three years at most if we had to get another season of Haikyuu, okay? Because I'm pretty sure when it comes to animation studios and every other studio, they usually work very hard, and once they have a certain series that's on their plate, they have to take care of it, and they have to do a good job on it, you know? So, that's another thing I understand. I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't mind if I had to wait three or more years to, just to see another season of Haikyuu or any other series, you know? Because they have to put a lot of effort, or they have to, like, um, get the right full material to, like, um, adapt it, you know? Like I said, I don't mind waiting, and yeah... Next season is about next season of anime is gonna come about very soon. It's gonna be very packed up too because you know a lot of shows got delayed to 2021 and guaranteed involved blasphemy. I think I'm gonna have another busy schedule again, but we'll have to see. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.